Hooking up the trailer, PDA, public displays of affection. PDAs from the, you know, 1990s. No one remembers that. So public displays of affection for hooking up. We get underneath the trailer, but we don't bring the fifth wheel under because handles out, pins out on the front, jaws are open. We check that the fifth wheel is in line with the king pin and we make sure that the trailer is at the right height. The trailer is at the right height to hook up. So as I said, PDA, the first one's pin. We get underneath. King pins in line with the fifth wheel. So now we back up until we're underneath the trailer and lift it up. fifth wheel's in line, or the kingpin's in line with the fifth wheel. There's no air between there. The handle's out and the thing's out. So now we can kick the suspension up. Suspension's coming up. There's no air between the trailer plate and the fifth wheel, so we back into the trailer. Bolts in on the front of the fifth wheel, handles in, trusty handy flashlight. Jaws are locked around the fifth wheel. The dollies are a little bit off the ground so I can do my tug test. If you have a van that's got dollies on it, you gotta crank them up an inch and then do your tug test. Tug test was successful, so PDA, so we hooked up the pin, pins locked, we've done all our checks for that, now we crank our dollies up, or we put them back up where they're supposed to be, which is gonna take a bit of work here. That is a pain in the butt. That is a pain in the butt. Oh yeah, now I'm dirty. We're trucking now. Okay, dollies are up, handle stowed. You wanna put it in low gear, but these, you gotta put the cotter pin and put the pin back in. They're all up, they're secure. Now we hook our lines on. Like and subscribe to the video to become part of the Smarter Driver community. As well, if you want step-by-step -step instructions for coupling and uncoupling a semi-trailer, click the link up in the corner here, head over to the Smart Drive Test website. I'd also like to thank Norvell Rentals for supplying the equipment to make this video possible. So normally for most test centers, you're gonna have two airlines and an electrical, but this one's got a wet line on it. So blue on, wet line, wet line, which are you for your hydraulics on your trailer. And as part of your pre-trip, you'd have to check all your hydraulics on your trailer as well. Okay. This one here, you got to make sure you put the airline on before you put the electrical on, otherwise it's going to give you grief. Okay. And then you've got a little thing here, lift this up, there's a catch on there. It's got to be in far enough for that catch to be on there. Okay, all done. Now, hooked up, everything's here. You would say to the examiner, after you're finished, if this was a new trailer, I would do a complete pre-trip inspection on the new trailer is what you would do for uh, hooking up to a new trailer. So that's your last step. Otherwise we're hooked up, we're ready to go.